Alrighty then. Hey, this is Wentis yet again. I'm going to be continuing my Let's Play of Pikmin 2. Last time, we went back to the Awakening Wood and managed to get a new map, leading us to the Perplexing Pool. We also discovered a new type of berry, but weren't able to make anything of it. We'll have to figure out more about that later. But for now, let's just head into the Perplexing Pool, my favorite area of the game! And it may look familiar to you if you guys watched my first Let's Play, or my Let's Play of Pikmin 1. Alright, well, it looks like the ship doesn't have anything to comment on. Let's go ahead and get right into it. Now, the thing that I want to point out most of all for this area... Let's see, we have 15 white Pikmin, and we'll bring 20 purples with us. So that'll bring us down to 65... Wait a minute, no. 60 reds. I think that ought to be right. So let's go ahead and get... Oh, I think that sound is whenever I'm standing in the rocket. Or in the rocket's light. Yeah, that sounds that seems to be the case. You guys I'm not sure if you guys can hear it, but it's coming out of my controller, so it's really weird. Yep, I got just enough. Also I wanna point out, we can't get more than 95 Pikmin, but you may notice why. Look! Off in the distance. Wild Pikmin. Can you see them, Captain Olimar? They are yellow, Pikmin. You encountered them when you crashed on this planet, correct? It would be most helpful if they remember you, like the red ones did. Yes, most helpful. So yeah, yellow Pikmin dead ahead. Let's go ahead and try to get to them. If I remember correctly. Also, I want to point out, this little spot right here... Oh! Jeez, flying shear grubs! Flying shear grubs! No, don't... Ugh. We already lost a Pikmin in this area. Two Pikmin! Oh, and a purple at that, too. That's not good. But this area might look familiar to you. The long stretching bridge, the water, these three spots here. Yeah, as if it weren't cl uh, clear enough. Um, this is actually the same area as the distant spring in Pikmin 1. So yeah, that's actually a nice little detail. Also, we can't get across there this time because it's only in Pikmin 1 that we can. Uh, we may as well have a couple of our Pikmin carry some stuff back. So let's take a look around here. Ugh, the dreaded Wally Logs. I wish I had... Never mind, I'm not even gonna bring that up. Let's go ahead and try to get these guys... Or get this guy cleared out. Crap, I'm gonna lose a couple! I think. Nope, they lived! We got him. Okay, so first Wally Wog down. I remember I always have trouble taking that one. You may notice also over here... My sensors are giving out foreboding signals. These signals could very well mean... ...that this hole is filled with wretched, nasty bugs. Vicious, program-terminating bugs! That's right. This is our next cave that we... Well, maybe not our next cave, but it'll be one of the next few caves. The Citadel of Spiders, but as you notice, it has an electric hazard for it. We're not quite ready to go in there yet. We could, we could probably make it through, but there, we definitely don't want to yet. We want to get to those yellow Pikmin as quickly as possible. So, as you may notice, right over here is another one of these front that we saw in last episode. So let's go ahead and get as many Pikmin up there as possible. Also, the Pikmin are kind of bugged out when you throw them like at this angle. I'd rather have them aimed like that way. Oh, come on, Purples. You always have trouble getting up these things. Also, I don't want you standing on that one just yet. Whoa, they went flying. <sighs> I always have the most... Ah, oh, dang it. Well, okay, I guess we're going up. Uh, guess we're not going up. Um, you know what? Forget it. I'm just going to bring these ones up with Olimar, and that should be enough to see us through. Also, we have a, uh, a snitch bug here. A swooping snitch bug, to be exact. So yeah, we probably want to get these guy, this guy cleared out. Now, you also may notice there's something in the distance there, just at the edge of our screen, that... I honestly... I've always been terrified of that thing. I'm glad we brought a white Pokemon, because there's definitely a poison gate there. Meet the Fiery Bulblacks. 
I believe it's a bowl black, it's not a bowl orb. It's like a regular bowl orb, but on fire. So yeah. Only want to be using red Pikmin to fight this thing. We only have 50 red Pikmin here. Let's see if we can't get uh, some more red Pikmin up here to join us, because we could use all we can get. There we go. That ought to do it. Don't want to have our other Pikmin fighting in this, because it would be quite dangerous. Let's get you guys here. Now let's see if this is going to be enough to take this guy down without losing too much. Let's go! He wakes up a bit faster than most other Bulborbs do, if I remember correctly. Now you just gotta hit him fast and hit him hard, keep him distracted, and we got him. Also, when he dies, he does his fire does go out. Now we may as well have our red Pikmin here carry this guy back. Now, let's go ahead and get our white Pikmin here. And have them immediately start working on this barrier we have here. I think that's all of them. Now we got one more white Pikmin with us. We need all we can get carrying this. And let's go ahead and have the rest of... Actually... Ooh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Red Pikmin, stop. I actually do not want to get those carried back yet because, well... You see, we're going to need all we can to build up our yellow population since our red population is already pretty good. But our yellow population, there are only five over there. So we want them to join us. And yeah. So, whoa, he completely failed there. Let's go, ahead, let's go ahead and kill this guy as well. We may as well clear out the local wildlife while we're waiting for those white Pikmin to get that thing done. Actually, you know what? Actually, no. Let's go ahead and... Yeah, let's just go, go ahead and do this. So don't have... None of you guys carry that back. Let's go ahead and get some of you guys working on the fiery blowhog here. Oh! Also, we have this here that I was kind of trying to avoid mentioning, but okay. What is this? A strange mold-like botanical en uh yeah, botanical entity has spread across the ground here. Interesting. I am detecting other plant life suffocating beneath it. So yes, that's actually worth noting. Also, we got that fiery uh blowhog taken care of. Let's go ahead and have some Pikmin attack this thing, but more importantly, we want to have Pikmin attacking this, so we have a shortcut over here now. Louie, you're just gonna sit there. Also, you may notice we have a treasure up there, but we can't quite get to it yet. Our white Pikmin are still clearing that out. It's going to take them a while to get that done with. Most of our day today is going to be spent trying to get to those white Pikmin, which is going to be our primary goal. But let's... Ooh. Okay, our treasure gauge is beeping because of that thing up there. But, okay, these guys are getting this done pretty quick. Okay, where's my pointer? Come on, pointer. Um... One second. <laughs> There we go. Much better. Yeah, my, uh, looks like my sensor bar actually kind of fell there. You know, Louie, we may as well have you start going around this way to meet them at the other end of that bridge so you can get up there more. Sorry, I accidentally swore there, and I... This is an E-rated game. I refuse to swear in these particular games. I only swear in games that are M-rated. Or if I'm playing League of Legends or TF2. Then I'll be swearing a lot. But uh, that's beside the point. Let's go ahead and get the whole group back together. I prefer to control Olimar when both of the captains are together. Also, you may notice all this mold is nearly cleared away now. And yes, there are berries here. That's what we were trying to clear out for. And once it's gone, it will not grow back. If we leave it there, it'll continue to spread, but only to a certain distance. But yeah, um, I believe the white Pikmin should be just about done by now. Yes, they are. So let's go ahead and start working with the yellows as soon as we can. As you can see, we have a bunch of yellow, uh, not candy pop buds. Um, I can't actually remember what those calls are. Pellet posies, that's it. So let's go ahead and meet our yellows. The yellow Pikmin have climbed down the tree and are staring in this direction. They appear to like high places and seem to be quite light. They also have very large ears. If I had named them, they would be called Ear Pikmin, but I will use the name Olimar gave them. 
curious. My static electricity sensors are reacting violently. What could this mean? So yes, that's hinting at the fact that yellow Pikmin in this game actually have an immunity to electricity, which is a nice new detail for them. So they are not just the Pikmin that you throw higher or use bomb rocks for. In fact, there aren't even... Well, there are bomb rocks in this game, but they can't lift them up anymore. Let's go ahead and get all five of our yellow Pikmin, honestly, on that as soon as possible. There we go. Okay, so let's go ahead and use our other Pikmin, though, to just knock these down. That way the yellows will have a bit of an easier time. And there we go, that ought to do it. Also, we may as well have a few of our reds start picking that grass down there. No, you don't. That way we can have our yellows upgrade to flowers as quickly as possible. But yeah, this is going to be basically the yellow Pikmin episode. In fact, I might even call this episode that. Also, I find it kind of neat how this tree here is like has light shining down on it. As if it's like... I can't possibly make the sound, but it's like that holy noise of... Oh, that sounded horrible. I wish I could... Ah... Uh... I just realized something. Uh, I'm gonna have to dismiss my Pikmin here and have Louie take. I'm gonna say. I'm gonna have him take most of our red Pikmin and go ahead and head back to the base. But Olimar, I need you to take the yellows and start gathering some more stuff. There we go. I wish I could just. Eh. It's really inconvenient to have to walk the captains back manually when it's just walking and the other captain's just sitting there. Oh! Ah! Uh. Whisker Pillars. That's why I found out these guys are called. Oh! No, 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 guys, stop drowning, stop drowning. Get back to land. Okay, you know what? Forget it. The Whisker Pillars, you can just stay up there. But, um, we don't have time for you. Let's go ahead this way. If I remember correctly, if we were to use, uh, white or purple Pikmin, they will automatically go to whichever place, uh, needs the most Pikmin. What was that terrifying noise? Huh? Oh! That was the sound- Ah, oh, I was thinking it's like, yay, our buds that had been left in the ground became flowers, but turns out they actually were just switching back to, uh, just leaves. So, let's go ahead, that should be enough red pick put away. So now we can actually gather these guys. Gather these guys. Oh, the white Pikmin decided to help out, that's kinda nice. But, now we can actually get the rest of our yellow Pikmin out, because we want to get as many yellow Pikmin as possible. Now let's go ahead and get you guys onto this. Now typically what happens is the major- whichever ma Pikmin is the majority on the thing being carried back is where it'll go. But I believe with whites and purples they'll send it back to whichever Pikmin population is the lowest. I'm gonna test that here. Like we definitely have yellow Pikmin being the lowest population. Now they should immediately- yep it turns yellow, they are sending it to the yellow nest. So let's go ahead and may as well have our white Pikmin help out with building up our new yellow population. And our purples as well, for that matter. So let's go ahead and... Also, you may have heard those Whisker Pillars. They are destroying the berries up there. I'm not going to be gathering those berries right now, though, so it's no big deal. So, oh, no, no, no. Oh, I guess it's randomized. That's interesting. But if I have one yellow Pikmin on, say, this... And then... No, not on that. Stop it, both of you! Okay. Yellow onto that. Now the rest of you guys onto that. There, now they'll carry it back to the yellow base. Ooh, they, I thought they were going to go off there for a second. Uh, let's go ahead and get these guys back with us. Now, it's mostly going to be yellows being gathered this episode. However, mm. oh, whoa. Uh, my controller made a really weird noise when I whistled there. That's one thing that bothers me is the controller noises. I wish the noises would just all be in the game instead, but... Oh well, beggars can't be choosers. I'm just glad I can play this game with the pointer controls and all that. But yeah, we have plenty of pick yellow Pikmin now. We're still gonna build up their population, but I think what we're gonna do now... Is we are going to just take what's left on the field in order to get these guys back. Also, you may notice there's an electric gate there. Yellow Pikmin are used to clear those out. Now let's go ahead and have our white Pikmin get on that because they are the fastest carriers to get that back as quick as possible. Whoa, they are getting stuck there. But yeah, we got plenty on that thing now. Whoa, why are they going... Hey, 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 no! Red Pikmin, bad! Seriously, guys, really? You can't just understand that the yellow Pikmin need it more? I could have sworn it was that they went to whichever species needed it the most, but guess not. 
Alright, just get all you guys on there. That should get done pretty fast. Oh, and I guess some of these guys did actually carry back some of these to the reds. Oh well, can't be handled now. How many are in the onion? Yeah, no yellow Pikmin are currently... No, there are only two in the onion. And we have... None with with Louie, but we have a few with Olimar. We may as well get these carried back because we're not going to get them back to the yellow base in time. So we may as well give them to the reds. Especially the red matching ones. Also, you may notice we have new enemies here. These are the Skitter Leafs. Uh, I believe they're called the Cloaking Skitter Leafs. They actually deal no damage. They only require one Pikmin to carry back. And if you throw a Pikmin on top of them when they're hiding as a leaf on the ground, they die instantly. I feel kind of bad whenever I do that. Or regular Pikmin do it as well, but it's easier to hit with purples. But, we're quickly running out of time. Alright, Olimar, is everyone with you? Okay, I'm gonna try to get us into the Citadel of Spiders before time runs out. So let's get you guys, we're gonna need all, all the yellow Pikmin we can get for this. Okay, we have about 57 Pikmin with us. That would be enough to finish that dungeon. Or, cave rather. But we want to have all the Pikmin we possibly can. Now... Uh, Louis, I need you to... Ooh, we're gonna be cutting it close here, boys! Alright, you guys all join me. Come on, is Olimar gonna be within whistling range? Olimar, join us. Alright, we have 100 out of 100. Let's go! 